name is Richard Bryant and I'm from Accra, Ghana. Co-Train is a training program which offers practical training development to young um, Ghanaians here um, and we teach them practical skills in app development and then we match them to companies for employment. Things are changing, we have like a lot of cable coming into West Africa and we now have 4G internet very very fast, a lot of people are streaming things, a lot of people are looking for things online and um, so the dynamics are kind of different. So there's a huge demand for software developers and um, web-based and app-based solutions. But the problem is we don't have enough people to, um, to manage this infrastructure. We have um, 59 students who come twice a week to learn. And we have about 200 other students in other parts of the country who are taking our virtual program. A lot of focus goes into um, trying to um, explain to people the opportunities in tech and um, how they can, you know, they can get prepared to you know, take advantage of those opportunities. My name is Rachel Ananiantri. I live in Kumase, but I'm currently in Accra. There are six females in my class out of like 49 students, which I think is a bit disheartening. And it's because of the perspective in which I would say our culture views women in science and tech to be, you know, not friendly, you know, all about work. I've been trying to, like, get a lot of women into the um, training, but, you know, it's still a bit difficult. With my generation, we are going out of the box, totally out of the box to the extent that our parents and the other generation see us as rebels. A person, regardless of sex, is um, capable of leading a team. Why not? Just let the person lead. To the same extent, we still follow our basic traditional and cultural practices, which I think we shouldn't ever, ever let go of, because that's what makes us Ghanaians. Even having like customers, you have like early adopters who are super crazy about your product. You have those in the middle, and then you have the rest, right? But we don't push out the word enough, or we don't encourage ladies to go into tech enough to attract, you know, the those in the middle and those, you know, outside the mainstream to know that oh, there is something for them as well. Is it that becoming an app developer or learning tech is only for the privileged or is it for only for a few people or is it something that you don't have a lot of people in here to take advantage of opportunities because they don't have the opportunity to learn in the first place. So in 10 years we should be in most um, uh, African countries, especially in West Africa because um, we are all in the same boat. Um, we are moving to um, a phase where our economies are getting digitized and we need um, a lot of like a resource, resources to be able to, in terms of human resources, to be able to man this um, you know, tra digital transformation. We also try to um, go into hardware as well, because hardware moves it with software so that we can produce a lot of tech gadgets um, locally in Africa. You have a lot of young people trying to do extraordinary things in spite of the problems that are there. It's our responsibility and we need to um, you know assert ourselves and to lift ourselves to a point where we can be able to manage our own like destiny.